to walk up on that, climb up on that lifeguard stand, your heart rate goes up like 10, 10 percent or something. It, you know, it's very stressful. School isn't out yet, but Barton Springs, Deep Eddy Pool and all of the lakes are already seeing big crowds. However, it's still a struggle right now to find lifeguards to cover these areas. And some say pay is a big reason why. Jessica Taylor joins us live tonight. Jessica, it's another day of the pool being closed and people are really getting frustrated. Yeah, that's right. Well, I've seen several people parking and then walking up here only to see that closed sign behind me. Now, even though your phone might show it as open every day, that's not the case right now, given the lifeguard shortage. Brandon Habather and Gavin Brown know the perfect way to cool down in these record breaking temperatures. I've always enjoyed Barton Springs since I was little because my mom and all my siblings, we always came and had picnics and swam. However, their plans need some adjustments. Like the fifth time he's tried to come and they've been closed. This is the second time we've both come and they've been closed. Barton Springs pool remains closed on Mondays, Wednesdays and Thursdays due in part to staffing challenges. Open water guard Scott Cobb says a big part of the shortage is because of the pay. We are first responders at the swimming pool. It's our responsibility. That is why a lot of people are reluctant to come work here at the current wage. He began lifeguarding here in 2018 and says the $1 increase this year isn't livable. He's asking for the starting wage of $22 an hour and created a petition asking as much with over 500 signatures. The, the rents in, in Austin have gone up on average about 30%. Uh, everywhere you go, whether it's Starbucks getting something to drink or, or just everywhere, every single place is raising their prices, but our wages have not gone up to cover that. As more people flock to the popular pools each day, they're hoping to see whatever it takes to keep them open. They potentially will save a life, so it's like they deserve to get paid well. Definitely. And then we, they could be open more if they had staffing, so it's like it'll pay for itself if they pay more. And Council Member Paige Ellis provided a statement this afternoon saying that this week Council will approve the final piece of the lifeguard recruitment efforts she sponsored, which will waive the training fees. And she's hopeful that they will get more applications and keep all of the pools open this summer. Live at Barton Springs, Jessica Taylor, CBS Austin News.